Ambassador Ronald Barnes, representative of uh, Alaska. Good morning to everyone. I am from Alaska. Alaska was listed in 1946 on the list of non-self-governing territories under the Charter of the United Nations, Article 73 of the Charter. Uh, just to give a brief background, Alaska, when it was placed on the list, it was because the 1867 treaty granting Alaska from the monarchy of Russia to the United States of America it came out in a United Nations report, uh, the report on treaties, agreements, and other constructive arrangements, that the treaty granted neither title or jurisdiction to the United States of America. What does this mean? It means how some of the lawyers of the United States say, well, it granted whatever Russia had over us. Now, just to... Uh, in 1821, the monarchy of Russia tried to claim Alaska because it, there was a trade dispute. And the monarchy, Alexander I, wanted all European governments. There was Great Britain, Spain, uh, uh, of course, Russia. And then there was uh, France and other governments from Europe coming up there to trade with us. And Russia wanted them to trade only through their trading ports. United States of America was the first to respond and to say that this is not your territory. We have traded directly with these peoples and we will con trade, continue to trade directly. So this esta was established in diplomatic communications using uh, the, the treatise of the Tell Law of Nations to say that we are equal to any European nation. So this is the brief background of why Alaska was considered independent and placed on the list in 1946. Since then, we have not exercised our right to self-determination as many of you are aware. When we look at the Human Rights Council, it's the resolution 6251, the first paragraph talks about the right to self-determination. Uh, so this includes that the rights to self-determination should be on the agenda, but it was removed from the agenda. So what our organization and several other organizations did was we came up with a, uh, a petition. And so we have a draft petition to not only place the agenda back on as an item to the Human Rights Council, it, used, it was formerly on the uh, Commission on Human Rights and also on uh, item two of the former subcommission on human rights. So we we want that placed back on the agenda. There's an annual resolution that the, this uh, last year's resolution was A Res 70 uh, Stroke 143, and this resolution adopted at the 70th session, which is the last session of the G General Assembly. Paragraph five calls on the Human Rights Council to give <coughs> special attention to the violation of human rights, especially the right to self-determination, and to report to the 71st session of the General Assembly. So with this petition, we are not only calling for the Human Rights Council to continue and to address the violations of the right to self-determination, which is the source of many grave human rights violations that many of us are suffering and many of us moved to seek remedy here at the Human Rights Council. During the first session of the Expert Advisory Committee, we got a small uh, decision adopted by the uh, Expert Advisory Committee, and this called on the Human Rights Council to allow an update of the study on the right to self-determination. <coughs> The Human Rights Council is afraid to do this. They're a former very important study by Gross Espiel and uh, by the former Subcommission on the Promotion and Protection of Minorities, which changed its name to the Subcommission on Human Rights and, of course, was abolished. And then now we have the Expert Advisory Committee. So we would like an update of that. So now we have this petition that I, even this morning I got some language, so after I finish this, I will present it to NGOs. Um, as uh, Leonardo just mentioned, 
And the report of uh, Professor Alfred Desias, the independent expert on the promotion of a democratic and equitable international order, he recommended in paragraph 69N of his report, A68284, to the General Assembly that several situations of indigenous peoples and peoples be sent to the UN Decolonization Committee for review. This resulted in, after a very strong lobby in Pakistan during the Universal Periodic Review of the United States of America in May of 2015, that the Alaska, Hawaii, and they included the Dakotas be sent to the UN Decolonization Committee for review with a view to re-enlisting. Because in 1959, of course, Alaska and Hawaii was removed from this list through false and misleading information presented to the General Assembly by the United States of America. So we will be presenting this, and I will, I realize one hour is very short. I will give uh, back to the moderator.